Hey guys, Alex Khan here, and I'm going to do a movie review for you guys, and it's been a while since I've done one, so I'm pretty excited. Today is a perfect day for a review, because today is a day that Driven, a uh, movie that came out in 2019, not to be confused with all the other movies called Driven, there's a lot of them, just trust me on that, but it came out on digital, and they also have a hard copy of this movie available. And I opted for the, the digital on Vudu, but you can also get it on Amazon and a lot of other uh, digital sites. So, the reason why I watched this movie, besides the fact that I am a movie buff, but the real reason is, back in 2019, I was a guest at TupeloCon in Mississippi, and while I was just walking around, there was a table set up with Driven all over it. I had no idea what that was, but I found out it was a movie. I love movies. And from the posters, it looked like they were inside the cockpit of a car. They were. So when I found out about that, I was like, shoot, can I interview you guys for my YouTube channel? And they let me. At that table, they had one of the main stars of the movie, Casey Dillard. Richard Stitt was not there, though. I, I love that actor. He's such a great actor. But he was not there. I think he lives in Tennessee. And also there was Glenn Payne. He was the director of Driven. And he also makes some cameos in that movie, if you're interested in that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. So, I was talking to these guys, never seen the movie, obviously, because it hasn't come out yet until today. And I didn't really know what to ask them because I had never seen the movie. But it was cool just uh, getting to know them. They were so friendly. And I found out that the, the movie vehicle uh, belongs to the, to the actress, Casey Dillard. And she actually was kind enough to, to walk me out to the parking lot and show me her car. And uh, it's, it's a Honda CRV. it's a dark blue color, it looks to be all stock. But the fact that that's in a movie makes it extra cool to me. You guys know me, I love movie vehicles, they're like the whole world to me. So, I got to see the car, I got to talk to these uh, movie people, it was awesome. Fact is, I'd never seen the movie though. So fast forward to today, June 16, 2020, almost a year after the interview. The movie comes out on Voodoo and a lot of other digital sites. So I immediately went home, uh, purchased the movie, and, start, and started streaming it. Oh man, it was a fun movie. This movie takes place completely inside the actress's uh, Honda CRV. But from what I remember, they don't actually show any of the uh, any of the Honda badgings on it. They're, I think they're very careful about not showing any Honda badging. But in a nutshell, what this movie is about, it's basically about uh, Casey Dillard. She's basically a, like an Uber driver, a Lyft driver. In the movie, they call they call it a, a ferry driver. And obviously, you know, being an Uber driver, you would obviously meet all kinds of uh, strange people. So uh, they did um, show that aspect of being an Uber driver, and that was pretty funny. But the whole meat of the story takes place when uh, Richard Spate. This guy, when he pops up as the next passenger for for the Uber driver, or ferry driver. And in a nutshell, Richard Spate is on a mission to uh, get rid of some bad creatures that are roaming the, uh, roaming the streets of, of Tupelo. They don't really call it Tupelo, but you know it's filmed in Tupelo. There's even a building there that says Tupelo on it, but that's kind of subtle. So, Richard Spate character his character brings a, a quest adventure dimension to this movie and in that respect it's awesome because now you have this driver you know it, it's fun watching someone drive their car around for two hours for an hour and a half but it's even cooler when there's a point to the driving and that's what Richard Spade's character brings he brings a, a reason for being this whole movie has this reason and the reason is he's on a quest to uh, get rid of these really bad demons. So that was cool. It's kind of unexpected. I hope I didn't spoil it for you. But it's really not about the ending. It's more about uh, the quests and, and the fun interactions that Richard Spade has with Casey Dillard. Because uh, the dialogue is it, it's really funny. It's, it's like situational slash uh, subtle comedy. And it's really fun to watch. I, I loved watching their interactions together. But at first, you know, Richard Spate, he's really uh, very con very uh, restrained with what he says. But when things get more out in the open, they're able to have 
a more lively discussion as to what's happening in the movie, and it's really cool. So, uh, after I watched the uh, the movie, I went back and watched my interview with uh, Casey Dillard and Glenn, uh, Glenn Payne. And I was like, wow, I got to talk to these movie people. I had no idea who they were when I was interviewing them. But when I watched this movie finally, I got a whole lot more respect for, uh, for, for, for meeting them. And the coolest thing about meeting them is that they were super kind, super friendly. And, and they were so accommodating too. Like, as I said, uh, the, the actress walked me out to her car and, and, and just showed me a car. And then we, we did a lot of the interview uh, by her car out there too. And uh, during that time, she had something wrong with her leg. So I felt really bad that I made her walk all the way outside because it wasn't parked really close at all. So uh, that was really cool um, meeting uh, Casey Dillard and um, Glenn, uh, Glenn Payne. I, I, I wish I got a, a picture with them though. I mean, I could always take a screenshot from the interview, but I think a picture is always uh, worth more to me. Um, so but maybe next time on Tupelo, I, I can look them up or something, I don't know. But uh, it, it was just so neat uh, getting to see this. Now, um, as I said, uh, the movie didn't come out on digital until today. But for the longest time, this movie was on the uh, on the film festival circuit. So it, there were very select uh, places showing this movie, and I wish I had been in one of those areas. I, I know they went to Tupelo to film it or to uh, to screen it, but obviously I lived too far from from Tupelo to just drive out there to watch a movie. If I had lived closer, I would definitely would have would have done it. But uh, that was another cool thing. Since I've been to Tupelo like once a year for the past, what, five or so years, I recognize a lot of the places they were driving by in this movie. So I, I suspect that if you are, you know, a, a local of Tupelo or just someone who knows the Tupelo area, I, I think you would really appreciate this movie a lot because I don't know of many movies that are filmed in, uh, in Tupelo. I do know this though, Tupelo is the birthplace of Elvis Presley. So that, that's another uh, cool thing to take home for you Tupelo fans. Uh, yeah, so I highly recommend this movie if you want to watch something that's that's pretty lighthearted but still has a, a, a horror aspect to it. This is the kind of movie that you could definitely, uh, you know, sit in front of the TV during October, you know, during the, hol during the Halloween season. And this is a fun movie that would get you in, in the spirit of, of Halloween. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm glad it came out in June though because... I have been really uh, anxious to watch this movie, especially having interviewed the freaking director and actress of the movie. Alright, so uh, I am going to end this video. There's going to be a, a driven a Q&A coming up, so I want to make sure I can attend that on YouTube. And I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.